Yes, from Hogtown to Tinseltown, let's unravel the Grammys, D. Okay, let's do it. Let's start with the awards. You know, we talked about some of the performances and some of the controversial performances as well. But let's start with these awards. And Meg the Stallion picking up three of the four that she was nominated for, including Best New Artist. She's the first, uh, I guess, uh, R&B or hip-hop artist in that sense. Lauren Hill won that award uh, many, many years ago. But very cool to see Meg the Stallion getting that. She also won for Best Rap Song, the Savage Remix with Beyonce. And again, as mentioned, she won three of her four nominations. And Dina, you love that that dress that she wore oh, as well. Oh, stunning. Right? And I love that body, yaddy, 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 yaddy of work <laughs> yeah. she has done in this year. And her speeches were so heartfelt. Mm -hmm. Like, she is just, she can't even, she can't believe what's happening. Yeah, she, lo she loved every moment of it. And that's the thing. I love seeing I artists like this get in the moment. But, you same. know what I mean? And just really all, enjoy it say. for what it was. And, and she did that, which was great. Someone else that uh, couldn't believe that she won was her. And the track is I Can't Breathe. That was Song of the Year inspired by George Floyd and his, uh, his death and his last words. And her definitely, uh, you know, moved by the, the passion that everybody had. And, of course, winning, winning that award on such a great cause that she wrote that song for. And she said she felt alone, and that's why she wrote that. She's such a uh, beautiful, talented artist. She is. Album of the Year, Folklore. Taylor Swift, she was up for six nominations. Performance was wonderful. First female to ever win three Album of the Year awards, Huge. which is unbelievable. She won back in 2010, of course, for Fearless and 2015 for 1989. And there she is thanking uh, some of the people. She, she thanked one dude that she hasn't met yet that worked on the album because they did it virtually <laughs> the entire time. She was, I hope I get to meet That's you amazing. one day. <laughs> that was part of the celebration. Uh, behind the scenes, after the fact, uh, she was cussing and, and excited, like just, like just couldn't believe it, and dancing and, and celebrating uh, in the back as well. Brilliant Record of the year, which a lot of people thought was a bit of a surprise, was mm -hmm. Billie Eilish. Mm -hmm. This is, to me, this is, I, I wasn't that surprised. No? Oh, yeah? This is hypnotic, this track that, yeah. that she... No, but but when does like what else is Phineas doing on top of, of working with his sister? Like I like I look at these two when they were performing early in the broadcast. I, I if you're their folks watching that, like this is this is magic. This is an incredible moment. And, and and it's not the first time they've been on a Grammy stage <laughs> together. But I just she is unbelievable to me in her talent and what she can do in her range. And, and add to that the production level of her brother. That is a scary duo. And when you see where they do this. That's even more impressive. It's in the bedroom. Yeah. It's in his bedroom where they put this music together. And I, yeah, that sounded, that came out weird, didn't it? it no, but, no, but, I, but no, no, but with them. It's at home. No, it's it too, didn't sound weird. No, it's at home. No. And listen, she's only 19, and to have that depth of talent and to perform at that level, incredible. Completely. And I keep pushing this on everybody. If the world's a little blurry, the, the documentary on Billie Eilish, yeah. if you have not watched that, you'll see it. You get a better understanding from her. Uh, this is her, though. She praises Meg Thee Stallion yeah. because she didn't think. Billy didn't think that she should have got that award. Here's what she had to say about it. Megan, girl, you deserve this. You had a year that I think is untoppable. You are a queen. Okay, let's get into, I, I love that. And she swept it, the awards it, last year, D.B. Yeah, Eilish. and, and she did like, it last year. It last year. year, she was like, oh, my God, I think, Ariana, you deserve this. And she's, she has a history of doing that, um, but it's genuine. You know it is, because she's super fans on a lot of these artists that she watches, that she gets inspiration from. Yeah. I mean, in, in the same documentary, she talks about Justin Bieber and her love for him. She started crying when love she met it. Biebs. Uh, this is the queen now of all queens, Queen Bee making history last night. And I love this about Jay-Z and Beyonce. They weren't there at the beginning of the, the ceremony. No. They were there. They just kind of slide in. They did like a, they just came, a stealth sneak they, in. they came for a little brunch, you know, before dinner. <laughs> they wanted to say hi to the crew. That's what it really looked like. They put the um, kids to bed. <laughs> well, they had to pick up Blue Ivy's award for her. Nine years old. My favorite tweet is... Uh, Blue Ivy sent her client, the client Blue Ivy sent her parents to go get uh, her award for her <laughs> to, to go so, get it. So let, hold on, let that breathe for a second. Yeah. Nine-year-old Blue Ivy mm -hmm. won yes. for video of the year yeah. with Beyonce. So is she, for, forgive me, Devo, for putting you on the spot, is she yeah. the youngest to ever yes. win a Grammy? Second grand? youngest. Oh. Okay. Second youngest. There was an eight-year-old uh, Leah Pessel who won for uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Wow. She was a part of that team. There you go. So second youngest there. Uh, now two people under 10 years old who have won a Grammy, which is pretty impressive. But Beyonce now has 28 awards. Mama breaking records. Which is the most by any female artist and uh, tied um, with Quincy Jones. George Stolte has the record for 31 Grammys. He was a conductor yes. uh, back in the day. So She'll beat it. This is, this is incredible. And, you know, the Grammys are about being in the moment of that year. That's what those awards are, right? So to do this over several years of your career... 
is super impressive, and Beyonce wanted to give back to that moment and tell us about that moment as well. So I wanted to uplift, encourage, and celebrate all of the beautiful black queens and kings that continue to inspire me and inspire the whole world. This is so overwhelming. Oh, I've been love her. Yeah, a lot of inspiration. Yeah, and she, she's definitely an inspiration for so many. So uh, those main four categories that we just talked about, all won by women. Congratulations to all the winners and nominees of the Grammy Awards. We'll talk more Grammys coming up a little bit later on. You know who's a winner even when she's falling on her backside on the hills trying to snowboard. Nicole, you were crushing me with those videos on your Instagram yesterday. Uh, but you, you look good doing it, and you're, you're crushing it right now skiing.